Well guys, it's Friday already and so much has passed in the past few days. So I wanted to make a very quick video to update you guys. As you can see here, I'm at the airport. I'm traveling yet again to another cryptocurrency conference. And it's been really exciting recently. I found that this week was a very good learning experience. And I want to focus this video primarily about dealing with FUD. And before we start guys, everything covered here is my personal opinion, not financial advice. A lot of FUD has been spread over the past few weeks, especially with coins that just launched the mainnet like VeChain or EOS. There was a considerable amount of FUD right after the mainnet launch. So what we kind of saw was that just a lot of articles coming up at a quick succession of time, creating a lot of fear, uncertainty, and doubt about a particular coin. But what we saw over the last few days is that these coins are rising up, especially VeChain. I was just like, my mind was blown at how fast it took from like $1.60 to $2.60. That was like, wow, that was like an instant. And it really goes to show two things right now. A lot of the control is in the hands of traders. We have these like spikes and violent shifts in the price of a various cryptocurrency. And because everyone's hearts you know, are on the money, they're one of their assets to grow, we tend to believe these spikes are caused by news. But sometimes this kind of negative news, it's really stuff that we've known before. Take for example EOS. With EOS, a lot of the kind of running off the mainnet, it was left to the community, the block producers. That was known way beforehand, but it was just during that FUD season when it all just came up like from the ground trying to swallow people and getting people afraid. And I feel like this is the kind of current situation of cryptocurrency. There's just a lot of news causing fear, but at the end of the day, all this news is just old news. It's something that we've known a lot in the past. It's something that we're kind of, we know in the back end, and it's something that we have to anticipate in the future if you want to be someone that can have strong hands in the space. And it's really important just to have those strong hands. I mean, after all, if you sell during a dip, you're going to be gone. So that's my kind of feeling on this. Now, moving forward, we're gonna see much more of this as well. This is not gonna be the end of this. And I heard a few comments like, oh my God, I'm surprised that Bitcoin is below 8,000. Oh my God, um, are we gonna fall again? There's gonna be a lot of basically huge market movements soon. We still, it's not a guarantee that we have the ETF. Right now, there's a little bit of negative sentiment that the rejection of the Winko loss ETF, basically something that was happened before, but they tried to appeal it and it got rejected again. This is not the ETF that we're kind of betting on right now. The one that everyone's really excited for is the CBOE one that's coming up. But it's submitted and we don't have an exact date on when the SEC is going to reply to that. So right now there's a lot of hype for this and there's a lot of kind of this shift in mentality going forward. So I just want to say, you know, stay strong. Go away guys. It's going to be a fun ride ahead. Now I'm in the airport as well. I'm going to Thailand for another blockchain based conference. I just finished one called the Nifty Conference. It was in Hong Kong. It was about gaming. So I do want to do an update on gaming and also do an analysis, a kind of a post-mortem on the most successful cryptocurrency game, CryptoKitties. Say what's good and what's bad about that game. So that's going to be coming up and also going to review this kind of idea of the non-fungible token. These digital assets they can put on a blockchain via ERC-721, ERC-1151, or even the engine-based technology as well. So I want to talk about all this in the upcoming videos, and I hope you guys can stay tuned for that. And of course, I'm going to keep you guys updated on the conference. It's going to be in Thailand, and it's in Southeast Asia. I think this is the next huge area where cryptocurrencies can actually help. Not only are they excited for it, but it can solve a lot of problems with the current banking situation there. So either with remittance, transferring money across countries, or even just keeping crypto, um, a ledger of currency. So I definitely want to update you guys on the situation there. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Remember to stay tuned to this channel, click that little subscribe button down below, and of course, like this video if you found it enlightening.